hi guys welcome to my channel so I've not done a video for a couple of weeks because I've just been busy with like life and I went on a little holiday um, but in those couple of weeks I've also done some recovery challenges and had some recovery wins so I thought I would do this video now to kind of share with you my my five main anorexia recovery challenges that I've done and the recovery wins that I've had in the you know the last two weeks and I've actually written a blog about this on my website so my recovery anorexia recovery challenges so I'll put the link in the description box if you want to have a read but yeah here are my recovery challenges so my first anorexia recovery challenge has been weight gain um so yeah in the past couple of weeks I've gained a bit of weight um and weight gain for me personally throughout my whole kind of history with anorexia is probably the most challenging thing to deal with and it's also a challenge not just to deal with the weight gain but to deal with not doing the restriction or trying to lose the weight that you've gained basically so yeah if you watch my video from a about a month ago where I was talking about relapse and explaining that you know I haven't relapsed but you know my medication had caused a bit of weight loss um I have gained a little bit of weight back and I know that there will be more weight gained back but the past couple of weeks I have been challenging myself to deal with the weight gain that has happened um it wasn't actually kind of planned I didn't you know actively think to force this weight gain to happen it did just happen you know um and so yeah I've been challenging myself to deal with it and not restrict um because that is always my instant reaction to think oh my god I've gained weight I want to get back to where I was um and try and get back to there um but I've not done that um and the thing is with weight gain although it is you know a really hard recovery challenge and it's a huge win to you know sit with it often doesn't feel like a win because it makes you feel so uncomfortable um and like I don't like gaining weight I you know and I, I've obviously I've seen you know recovery videos on YouTube and stuff where people seem so positive and happy to gain weight and for me it's never been like that um obviously I know it has to happen but I don't I don't necessarily feel good about it but I'm learning to tolerate it and that is what I'm doing now yeah it makes you feel uncomfortable yeah you, you you might not you don't like it but I can tolerate it and that's a positive that's a huge positive I'm tolerating it I'm not trying to restrict I haven't restricted at all I'm carrying on as I am doing this weight gain anorexia recovery challenge and I'm winning at it um and also I think you know if you spoke to a hundred people just out and about on the street and you said to them, how would you feel if you gained weight? I guarantee you 99% probably of them would say that they didn't want to gain weight. Um, so I think it's just a, one of those things, you know, no one really particularly likes. So my second anorexia recovery challenge that I've done, which was this week. So I went out for dinner with my friend um, and I didn't look at calories on the menu and I didn't compensate my food before or after. Um, so I'll explain a bit. So previously when I've, you know, years ago when I would go out for dinner, I could only go to places that showed the calories because then I could fit my calories into my daily allowance. Um, over the past couple of years, well, pre-COVID, I was able to challenge that. And I was able to start to go out for a dinner and not look at the calories and just go out for a meal for my dinner or whatever. Um, because I, ultimately that was what I wanted to be able to do. I didn't want to go out and eat a number. I wanted to go out and eat my dinner. Um, and I had got quite good at doing that. You know, that was a challenge I had done several times. Um, but then obviously COVID has happened and not been able to go out for dinner because restaurants and that have been shut for a long time and so I got out of the have got out of the habit of doing that challenge um so 
with going out for dinner this week obviously it was you know I haven't done it for a long time and I wanted to pick up where I left off I didn't want to go back to going out for dinner and looking at the calories and fitting it into what I can have so but the, obviously with it being a kind of a new situation again the temptation was to go for the safe option look at the calories and work it out um but I didn't I went out for dinner with my friend I picked a meal off the menu I had it and I just had it as my dinner there were no numbers involved it was my dinner um so that was good to get that challenge back up and rolling um but the other challenge that I did within that situation was to not compensate with my food in a different part of the day which I've never done before with going out for dinner because I would always think to have a smaller lunch or a smaller evening snack um and that had been what I thought I would do this time um but when it came to my lunch time and I was thinking I should have a smaller lunch because I'm going out for dinner I thought but I really don't want a smaller lunch you know why should I have to have a smaller lunch simply because I'm going to eat my dinner in a different place it's it's ridiculous it is a ridiculous eating disorder rule that I don't want to have um and it was you know a struggle I guess there was I did feel anxious I did feel stressed um but I made myself have my lunch I enjoyed my lunch no restriction with it I went out for dinner ate my dinner came home ate my evening snack without any restriction um anorexia recovery challenge number two completed and that was a huge win because I say I would normally always feel like I had to restrict um and I just it's just ridiculous and if my friend had said to me oh you know we're going out for dinner so I can't have my normal lunch I have to have a small lunch or whatever I just said don't be stupid you know and I think we I have to or mice I have to learn if you don't know if you have to learn to apply logic and reasoning that you would say to somebody else to ourselves because it's absolutely you know there is no need to compensate food just because you're going out for a meal and I will not be doing that again so my third anorexia recovery challenge that I did that kind of just it did just happen I didn't plan it or anything like that it, it just occurred um was that I forgot to do my daily exercise um now normally my daily exercise will be you know either going for a walk or a combination of going for a short walk and a short um ex cycle on my exercise bike um and this particular day which was this last week um I decided I would do a combination so I went for a short walk and I had planned on you know going on the exercise bike for you know 10 minutes in the afternoon but I had a really busy day and I forgot um so there I was eating my dinner at like eight o'clock in the evening and I realized I'd forgotten and I was like oh my god I forgot to go on the bike um obviously panic stations blew up um and I my instant kind of knee-jerk reaction was I need to go on the bike now I need to do that 10 minutes right now and then I just thought to myself I really don't want to like it's eight o'clock in the evening I am halfway through my dinner I am in my pajamas the last thing I want to be doing now is going on the exercise bike for 10 minutes and seriously what difference is it going to make is 10 minutes really going to make a difference um so I fought the urges because as much as I wanted to go on the bike, well not that I wanted, but the, as much as the eating disorder wanted me to go on the bike, I knew it was not the right thing to do. And the thing is, it's a behaviour that I do to control anxiety because I feel like I can't cope with the stress of not doing it. But I sat with those uncomfortable feelings. I continued eating my dinner. I sat down and watched the TV and I went to bed. Yet the feelings were uncomfortable, but those feelings did pass. And I didn't have to go on the bike for those feelings to settle down. Um, so, yeah, that was a huge recovery win for me because I've never done it before. Huge challenge, but I did it. And also it was an it was another win in the sense of 
that I'd actually forgotten about going on the bike because, you know, even, you know, just a year ago, I would never have forgotten. It would have been such a priority or not a priority, but it would have been there in my mind to the point where I wouldn't forget about it. I would have gone on the bike, but it was a win because I'd totally forgotten about it. I'd had a busy day. I'd been getting on with, you know, completely non-eating disorder things. And that wasn't as important to me, which I think is great. I think that's a good win. So my fourth anorexia recovery challenge, which was planned. Um, so as I said, I went, I've been on a little holiday. So just in the UK for a few days with my mum. And I, so previously, whenever we've gone away until this year, I would always for my dinner, go to a supermarket, buy bits and make my own kind of salad with some meat and stuff. Um, that's always what I've done when we've gone away. But I really don't want to do that anymore. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be, you know, going chopping things up. I wanted to be able to just be on holiday and have a meal that I haven't, you know, bought bits for myself and had to construct myself, um, which I have done earlier this year. So I've done it twice. Um, I've done, I actually did a video about one of them. So I'll put the, you know, the link in the description box. Um, but the only times I've done it, I've had the same meal and Nando's, um, but there was no Nando's in this local area. So I challenged myself to, to do it, but with a completely different restaurant, different meal um so there was a restaurant in the hotel so i the two nights we were we were away i ordered a meal from the restaurant and had it in in my room because me and my mum we like to have our meals in the room because you know you can be comfortable in your pajamas watching the tv so that was a huge recovery challenge that i did um just went to the restaurant ordered a meal no calories involved well not no calories involved but no calorie counting involved i just had the meal ate it as my dinner, no making things myself, and it was really good. Um, and one of the nights, my mum didn't want the meal from the restaurant, so she did get something from the supermarket, but that didn't stop me going to the restaurant and ordering it for myself and having it for me, because I don't need permission from other people for me to have food or a meal that I want to have and just because she didn't want a restaurant meal didn't mean I couldn't have a restaurant meal and you know what she eats has no effect on my own body so yeah that was my fourth recovery challenge and my fifth recovery challenge that I've done a couple of times in the past few weeks is having porridge when I want it and this is because I do eat porridge for breakfast but my eating disorder has certain rules about w the situations in which I can have porridge for breakfast. And there have been a couple of times where I've wanted porridge for breakfast, but the, the day hasn't fitted the rules of anorexia for me to be allowed porridge for breakfast. So it's frustrating because I was like, I just want the porridge. Um, but then, you know, I fought the battle in my head. I want the porridge, but you're not allowed the porridge. But I'd really like to have the porridge, but it's not one of those days, you know, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And I fought the battle. I beat the anorexia rule and I did the anorexia challenge and I had the porridge for breakfast, even though it wasn't one of those particular days and following the particular rules in which anorexia would allow me to have it. And yeah, that was, I did feel stressed. I did feel anxious. It did play on my mind a bit the rest of the day but I got on with it and now you know several days later have I you know since the last time I did it have I am I thinking about it no so you know five days later if it's not playing on my mind I'm not going to give it you know I'm not going to let it dominate my decision making so that was, as I say, that was a big recovery challenge. It's stupid, these stupid rules. Um, anyway, so yeah, that was a big recovery challenge, big win. So they are really my five recovery challenges and wins that I've had the past two weeks. Um, there have been others, but they've been, 
you know, I can't do a video of, you know, an hour of all my recovery challenges. Um, so yeah, hopefully you, you know, this might help you if you want to take on any recovery, anorexia recovery challenges, or I'd love, you know, you to leave a comment and let me know any challenges that you've done. Um, yeah, so if you want to, I'd love it if you would wanted to subscribe if you or like my channel. Um, so yeah, and hopefully I'll keep you updated and be back in a few weeks to, you know, catch up. Bye.